Hello, and uh, welcome back to episode 2 of the uh, Let's Play World here. We have done quite a bit of progress uh, in between episodes. Um, nothing nothing too crazy, but just a little bit. I finished the house. Uh, we have a fully finished house with some decorations. We have a roof. We have a little workstation area outside, a little balcony up top. Um, I was able to get, uh, name tags for both the dogs, and then I, now they have names, Duke and Pipsqueak. We have some decorations inside. Uh, I went mining, got a bit of diamonds. I only have three left over, but I have a diamond sword here and this sword here for, uh, enchanting. Uh, for whenever I'm able to finish the enchanting thing upstairs. But we have some diamond armor, everything but the, we have everything but the leggings right now. Um, and then, you know, just some decorations and stuff uh, and then if we go upstairs we have the chanting table but today what i want to focus on for episode two is in this book right here this uh this little little book that we have some stuff written in right now um you could see we have uh we have a named idea book um for episode two we have visit village because there's a village either north or south of us. I'm not sure which direction. I'll have to, I'll have to go explore and find a, find it. But I I did, I did explore a little bit and I ran into it and got some stuff out of the blacksmith. But that's that's all I did. I wanted to save the rest of, oh, whoops, I wanted to save the rest of the village stuff for later. Um, make enchanting room enter near house. As you can see, we basically already have that almost done. I just need to finish the rest of the bookshelves, which. Uh, I just need more leather for, uh, and I'll be able to finish the bookshelves, um, and then that will be done. And then outline new building ideas around house. So basically, the idea behind this is that <clears throat> I want to have different buildings for different things around. And uh, like for just for an example, one of the buildings that I want to have is uh, something that I was actually clearing out some land over here for. I flattened it a bit. This used to be a you know, just like all these it used to be up a bit and it had a uh, cliff here but i wanted to clear this out i want to make like uh an actual area for the mine because as you can see i have a i have a mine here or a staircase that goes down to an amethyst geode and then that continues off into a, a mine way down below um but i want to have like a like the beginning of a quarry or like a mining outpost or 
you know, something, something here for decoration, but also for uh, smelting. I want to have a big smelting setup with a bunch of furnaces and stuff to make it quicker than just the two in the house over there. And I think it might be cool. Maybe we can add in like a crane or something over here just for decoration. Maybe have some ore hanging off of the crane. Um, but yeah, that'll be like the, that'll be the mining like quarry area. And then I want to move the farm. I don't want to keep it here because I want to end up making a dock. So you can see the last thing here for episode two is begin working on a dock. I want to make a dock here because basically there are a lot of rivers going, snaking through the, the mountains and hills and everything in this area. And we have a, a, a big lake here. Um, so basically the idea is that I want to set up some sort of boat travel system. I want to have a dock here and I want to get enough TNT and, and everything to blow through these hillsides and kind of terraform into a river. Um, there's a river over on the other side of that mountain over towards spawn in a big valley. Uh, I think it would be nice to connect up to that so we can build stuff over on that side. Um, and then go off that way for anything we have over that way. So the first step to that is I want to make a dock. And we also have in 1.19 these new uh, chest boats or boat with a boat with a chest. These are these are pretty cool. So I, I kind of want to do something with this. Maybe have like a a portable storage system with some boats or something like that. You know, uh, something. But yeah, so those are the ideas. So the first thing that we're going to do today is we're going to go visit the village. So I have to get geared up and I got to figure out where the village is and then we'll, we'll head over there. So uh, yeah, let's, let's head over to the village. Okay, so we made it to the village and uh, that there's the blacksmith that I had looted before for some iron stuff. But then this village is really cool because it's in this cave or like this like cavern. And this cavern has really cool spires here, but the some of the houses are actually down here, which is it's uh, very cool. Like, it looks really cool, but uh, I'll also have to I'll have to make like a path or something going down there, if there are any villagers down there. They might they might actually be dead, unfortunately. But I have seen some guys running around here. Um, I also got some emeralds and some bread from. One of the houses here that I hadn't looted before. Uh, so I have those now. But I'm going to find some villagers. There's the blacksmith there. And then I think there was one over here. Did he run away? He's over in the field right there. Is he in one of these houses now? Let's see. Where did this guy go? Is he gone? The sheep up there. I have no idea where he went. Okay, so we know where one... Oh, there he is. Okay, so... I need to get some bookshelves. And I need a lot more leather to be able to do that. I don't even have bookshelves at... I don't even have full bookshelves at my house for my enchanting. So I do need to kill more cows. So for me to get... Lecterns gonna have to go cow hunting, so I'm just gonna check and see if there are any cows nearby. Uh, and if not, then I have something else planned. So give me one second. Let me go check for some cows. This little valley is really cool. Hey, bunny rabbits! There's a lot of sheep. There's a pig. I'm not seeing any cows so far yet, though. I've seen a bunch of sheep, but no cows. Keep looking around just a little bit longer. Oh, there's another village. Because the one that I came from is over there. Alright, let's check this village out really quickly. I haven't seen this one before. This one looks... Uh, it looks about the same size as the other one. There, are, I see one villager on the roof. This one also isn't half in a cavern. So this might be the one that we go with, actually. Oh, there's a lot more villagers. There's four right there. What's in here? Some bread, some apples, a couple potatoes. That's nice. Uh, we're going to use potatoes for a villager farm. So it's actually nice that I found those. Uh, just in case you don't know, you can farm villagers. Or, I guess not really farm them, but you can you can breed them. You have to have them in close proximity, and they have to have extra beds. And then you give the, you drop them, 
like bread or potatoes or something like that and if you give them enough then they'll breed and make a baby and that's how you get more villagers so we're gonna do that in order to get trades also there are a lot of villagers there's also two bells uh, and i'm pretty sure oh and an iron golem i'm pretty sure more bells means it's a bigger village i could be wrong about that oh we have a fletcher he's the guy with the arrow in his uh ear that i saw this guy Okay, he doesn't have a stick trade, so we'll have to we'll have to change him to get sticks. Yeah, this is definitely the village to go with. Where is this? Negative two thirty three, positive six forty six. Okay, I'll have to write that down. There's also a beehive here. Are there any more buildings this way? No. Okay, so it's a it's an okay sized village, but it's nothing too big. It also doesn't have a library, which would be very helpful. Because the library, we could get uh, books from, for a bookshelf, for a lectern. We need a lectern, because a lectern will turn a villager into a librarian. And then the librarian can have uh, enchanted book trades, which we can use to get mending and other enchanted books, which will be really good for our, our armor and tools and stuff. But since I'm not finding any cows for leather, what I have in mind instead is just to do some... Uh, just to do some decorating, um, we also need to trap some villagers. But I want to do some decorating, and I want to do a raid at some point in the series. Not Definitely not this episode, but I want to do a raid at some point. So we can set up like a cobblestone wall, or like a defensive wall. Maybe turn the village into like a, a fortified little town. Some decorations and everything. Also, this guy. We need to get you a stick trade, actually. So let's do that really quickly. I need to pick up the fletching table. Which is an X? Yeah. Okay, so that should have that should take his job away. He was over here. Oh, it's it's uh nighttime now. No, he's uh still a fletcher. Okay, let me sleep really quick. I'll set it uh, daytime. So now, why is he not changing? Your workstation's gone, buddy. Wait, is there another fletching table somewhere? He's still not changing. There's nothing in there. Where are you going? Can I make one of these other guys a fletcher? A fletcher? Can we become one? No? Oh, he became one. And he has a stick trade. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to make some sticks really quick to lock in his trade. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's an extra six for myself. So now that should lock in his trade. So let's move this. We'll put him in this building and we'll lock him in. So we, we always know where he's at. There's a zombie somewhere. Oh, down there. Okay. So, okay, he's he's in there now. Wait, we need him to stay. I have, I have wood. No, no, go back inside. Oh man. There's a zombie. Did he die? Okay, we definitely need to get some fortifications going. Uh, we'll get some of this tall grass. We'll, uh, we'll make the paths look a little better and stuff, and then if I see an opportunity to trap him, then I will trap him in. I also need to make a shovel. Let me get some stone. Oh, is he going in? Yeah, yeah, go inside, go inside. Come on, you can squeeze in. There we go. Okay, so we have our Fletcher trapped, and I think he just replenished his trade. I can't reach him. Okay, so that's good. Um, what I can do so we can get in but he can't get out is I'll do this. Get a slap. Oh wait, I need to make sure he's not at the door so he doesn't come out. Go back inside. Yeah, there you go. Do that. So we can squeeze in now but he can't get out because of the slab. We can, we can squeeze under the block so we can go inside. He cannot get out though. Okay, let's go get some stone right in here and I'll make a shovel. Oh, there's some iron, too. That's useful. Just 
Und zum Co. Nice. Okay. Let's light this up. I don't want I don't want any mobs coming out of here. Oh yeah, dripstone cave. For the beginning of one? This is really useful. Okay. I'll I'll come back for this at some point. Uh dripstone will be really nice because we can make uh a lava source. You put lava above a dripstone and have it drip into a cauldron and you have an unlimited supply of lava. So we can do that at some point. But yeah, let me get this stuff. Um, I gotta smelt this iron. I'll go smelt it over at the blacksmith's hut. And then uh, make a shovel. And then we'll start working on the village. There's a... This is a big cave. I'm not gonna be able to lay all of this up right now. Where was that from? I just got shot at. Shot over there? Was he behind me? I hear him. Oh, he's down there. Hit him once? Yeah, I killed him. Okay. Uh, let me go pick up his arrows and stuff. Oh, wait. Did, did this one have a... I don't know if this one had... Hold on. Let me go get some more cobblestone. I don't know if this village had a blacksmith. I just need enough for a furnace. There we go. There's a baby in there. Okay. So they are breeding. What is this? Minecraft crops. What is it? Carrots. Okay. So we have a carrot farm too. Nice. Yeah, I don't think that there's a, a furnace anywhere around here. So let me go make one at the crafting table that I placed on. This is a nice little town center area. But I think what I'll eventually do is I'll chop this tree down. Or take the leaves off and make it a big custom tree. To make it look even, even better. Alright, while that's smelting, let me chop down a couple of these trees and make more sticks to trade with the Fletcher. Okay, I think that's enough wood. And then I'll go down here. I can use these fences as well, since there's nothing inside them. Go inside here. Turn this into wood. Okay, I don't have enough anymore. Okay, so I have 10 emeralds on me. I haven't unlocked his next trade yet. Oh, there we go. Okay, so flint. That's a lot of flint for emerald. Huh? Okay, so I don't know if this guy has any other useful trades, so we'll just use him for the stick trade for emeralds for right now. And then if we're able to do the raid and complete it, then uh, we'll be able to get discounted prices. Okay, that's done. So let's make a shovel. Okay, so now let's start working on these paths. I want to make them... Let's see... I want to make them connect a little bit better. I'll have to cover this up. Let me go ahead and actually just light this up first really quick. Oh no. There's two of them. Here's my shield. Oh. When they fire. There we go. Okay, so... Let's switch back to the torches. Light this up. I'll get that coal. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna make sure that this thing is fully lit up so we don't have any uh, zombies or anything spawning down here. There's another skeleton I saw. Oh, this is, this is a very large cave. I'm not going to be able to light this whole thing up. Oh, no. Alright, I'm just going to get out of here. I'm not going to worry about those guys right now. Let's start covering up a little bit of this uh, hole here. Make sure the villagers can actually get around this little house. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see.
Okay, so this house is a little close. So I might just completely move this house somewhere else. For now, it's okay, but uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it being this close to the to the hill here. Move this hay out of the way. Okay, so let's make this have a bit more of a drop down. So it'll actually connect up down there. Oh, we got some leftover leaves here. I'll definitely add in some more trees and stuff later. Just that way it's not completely barren. But for now, this is okay. I was just running around after uh, making the paths and stuff. I was filling in some holes. I just looked over the hill here and there's some cows. So I'm going to get this leather and then work on making at least one bookshelf for a librarian. Or a bookshelf to make into a light. Uh, into a lectern for a librarian. But yeah, let me uh, let me kill these cows and then we'll go do that. Okay, I got three leather from the four, which isn't great, but it is enough for one bookshelf. I just need to get some paper. Another thing that I can do that I thought of is get a cauldron, and then I can use the cauldron to turn one of the villagers into a leather worker. But I don't know if I want to have a leather worker permanently because I don't think that they have any super useful trades other than, I believe, being able to get leather. So we're back at the village here. Uh, just to show you some pads, I made sure I filled them out. I cleared off the, the grass and everything. This one, uh, it looked like there was kind of a little garden growing here, so I left this little patch. Um, I probably won't leave these flowers here. I'll probably add some, like, some leaves and some some different flowers to make it look more like a garden but i left a little patch here to kind of keep a garden i filled out the paths made sure they all connected uh this one didn't used to be here i had it connect up over here uh it's kind of smaller than the others um but then this one was here filled it out had it come down here oh missed a couple spots and then i was doing this to kind of round it off to make it seem like it's actually a walked on path because people aren't going to walk in straight lines and then turn uh, a lot of times people will just kind of like take the corner like this, so it'll wear out the, the corners, make them a little more round. This path doesn't really go anywhere, so I'm going to leave it how it is, same with this one here. Uh, but I connected all these, filled them, filled them in. This one as well, this used to be a big hole in the ground, I filled it in. Uh, cleared all the, the grass and flowers and stuff from here. Connected all these. The trees are gone because I got them for wood, but also I didn't want them to be in the way. And then just over this way, I can connect these two really quick, actually. Let me do that really quick. Okay, there we go. So these two are connected now. Oh, this is a little bit of a spy here. This doesn't really serve a huge uh, utility purpose or anything like that. It's just to make it look a little better. Maybe later I'll switch it to like some stone roads, some cobblestone or something like that. Just mix it up from the, the dirt in the path. But yeah, uh, this was very messy. It was it had all holes and grass growing everywhere and everything. Like I said, I do want to make this a custom tree. We'll add some uh, defense walls around the area and stuff like that. Maybe turn some of these buildings into some nicer custom buildings so they're not the, the default uh, villager buildings like they are. Also, this one needs to move. I think I'll move it... Um... Actually, this is kind of a nice spot. Maybe I'll just reshape it so it comes out a little more here and push it back from here so it's not so close to the, the hill here. But I do need some paper. Uh, I need some paper so I can make books. So let's see if there's any sugar cane down here. That, uh, north. North is straight to where, where our little house is. Oh, there's an iron golem down here. While I was filling in the paths, I kind of just watched one pop up. He popped up right in front of me while I was filling in one of the paths. This one just came over and fell off a little bit. Actually, I'll help him get back up. Just so we, because these guys will help whenever we do a raid, but they also just help throughout. I'll make sure he has a path back up. Hey, buddy. He should be able to get up now, I think. No, he's going further down. Come back up. He should be able to get up through here. Right here, and then get back to the village. Is he coming? Oh, well. 
I gave him a path. I'll leave him to figure it out. Don't see any sugar cane, though. There might be a river over this way, so let's go check this out. Looks like a little bit more of a pond, but there's some water. I could just go back home and grab some sugar cane, but this this gives me an excuse to explore around a little bit, see what's nearby. Oh, here's some. Oh, it's a fort all. Those are, uh, I'm pretty sure that's very rare. I don't know if they can actually grow that tall when you plant them. I think they can only spawn in that tall. I might be wrong about that, but I think that's how that works. Some more plains. There might be another village down that way or something. Some more cows. Let me go kill these cows really quickly. I really need the leather. Okay, I was able to get four more leather. So I have seven now. That's enough to make two bookshelves. Which is good. And then now we can just head back to the village. Try to dodge a lot of these mobs. Yep, here we are. I made it back. Okay, let's sleep in one of these beds so we can skip through the night. Thank you, villager, for letting me use your bed. Okay, now let's head back down here to our crafting table. We'll make some books, and then we'll be able to make some bookshelves. And then I think we should be able to just... Oh, wait, the skeleton died here. Uh, we should just be able to make some lanterns with what we have. So let's make paper. Oh, we're only ma we're only able to make three books. Okay, that is enough for a bookshelf. And then, what do we need for a lectern? I think we need slabs, right? Yeah, four slabs. Okay, we do have some slabs in this chest in here. There we go. So it's like this, and then the bookshelf. All right, we have a lantern or lantern, uh, lectern now. So now, since this guy's already trapped in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and plop this lectern down. Okay, I'm not gonna trade with him yet. Uh, and I, I don't wanna get locked into a trade here at all either because, uh, I think he'll change over time. Even if we, even if we have these trades, I think I'll trade over time until we trade with them. So I'm just gonna see some of the things that I get. A looting one book. Okay, not bad. Alright, I think we'll leave it there though. So let's grab this stuff. I don't need those flowers right now. Okay, so let's do this. Where's the little area? Here, I'll use the fences around this, uh, I'll use them around this farm. Actually, this is not useful. That doesn't really do much. It adds a little bit of decoration, I guess. I was hoping I had enough to surround it, but it's okay. Alright, so now, since we have our librarian guy over there, I think what we can do is... I think we do need to head home. Oh, another skeleton type over here. We need to head home because I can get some resources to build a wall here. Okay, yeah, let's head home. Let's go ahead and just head home. Okay, so we made it back home. I went ahead and did a few things. So I got... My final bookshelves for my enchanting thing back here at home. So now I can do level 30 enchantments on my tools. Uh, that was just a quick little thing to do. So that's something we can knock off this list. Um, we also knocked off the village. Or visiting the village. We did that. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is... I know it's a little out of order. I'm going to begin working on the dock. Because out here... Uh, whenever I got back home, I decided to just go ahead and start chopping down trees and collecting resources. So I have this chest, this, uh, deforestation chest. And it has a bunch of, uh, wood and leaves and stuff that I got from knocking stuff down around nearby. So you can see this area no longer has any trees. And then if I go over here, all of these trees are gone. There's a lot of trees back here that are gone. Um, I'll be replacing them. I'll be making, uh, nicer trees, like custom trees. There'll probably be a path around here somewhere. I just wanted to clear them out of the way for now so I could see what I'm working with, like, the land-wise. And then also so I could get the resources because um, we're actually about to start on the dock. So the first thing that we need to do before we start on the dock is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these farms down here because I want my dock to, to start here. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of these. And uh, 
Once I'm, gun once I'm done getting rid of these, we will meet back here and I'll start planning out the dock. So just give me one second. Okay, so that's all of the farm stuff moved. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break this a little bit because I had this extended just so I could fit more wheat on it. But I think we're just going to bring it back a little bit get the dirt. I'm going to go get some wood and then we'll start working on a little bit of an outline. And I kind of have an idea of how I want to do this. So let me go get the wood. Okay, so my idea is I want to have it kind of come down off of a little hill. I have like a little hill here with the staircase coming down. And then at the bottom of the staircase, we'll have just a little wooden dock. And maybe um, maybe we'll throw in like a little uh, building as well. So let me just get rid of this stuff right here on the edge. So I can fit the, uh, the dock stuff in. And then <clears throat> I'm going to fill out this little hill here. So it's raised up a bit so I can fit a staircase in. And then with the staircase here, it'll lead right down into the dock. So it'll be kind of cool. Like, this will be raised up. We'll have, like, a little... <clears throat> have a little... I don't have any cobblestone. We'll have a cobblestone wall here. Like, a little retaining wall. And then it'll come down a staircase. And then there will be some wooden docks here. And then we might have, like, a little... Uh, little building here for storing stuff in or something like that. <clears throat> but, yeah. I'm going to get... So I need to get some more dirt. And then I will get... Uh, some cobblestone and we'll start working on the wall. Projects like this are going to be much easier to do with shulker boxes instead of carrying uh, inventory around like this. But this is what we have to do for now. So let me actually, I'm going to plop this chest down right here. And then I'll, f I'll throw some of my stuff in here. Everything but my dirt for right now. And then I'll just fill in this little hill here. My goal with a lot of these buildings is I want to make sure that some of them, or I guess most of them, seem like they actually have a, they serve a purpose. So with this dock, it's not just going to be a cosmetic building. We're going to have it, like I mentioned before, we'll have it connect up to rivers, and we can use it as like boat transportation, uh, maybe even some sort of portable boat storage or something like that. Uh, and I want to have other buildings around, like the the uh, little like uh, mining building that I mentioned over here uh it will it will have a lot of decoration and cosmetic purposes as well but it would be nice to fit in some sort of like big smelting room here so it, it has a purpose and then uh different things around like maybe with the new farm area that I'm gonna set up we can build a windmill and have something stored in the windmill either like maybe how I had that set up before with the uh with the hoppers feeding directly into the composters, maybe we can set up a, a windmill up here on the hill and put a bigger version of that inside the windmill just so it serves a purpose as well and we can uh, produce bone meal. And then we'll have little buildings here and there around and then the animals will move into a barn or something somewhere, I'm sure. But yeah, I want to make sure the buildings have, have a bit of a purpose. Okay, but I think we're mostly done with the dirt so let's get the cobblestone now and then we'll start filling in the cobblestone wall all right i've just slept through uh one of the nights here but i've been working quite a bit on the dock down there as you can kind of see through the trees here been working quite a bit on it so i figured i'll go ahead and just go down here and show you everything uh it's definitely not finished yet this is going to be a building but yeah i have this uh this little like stone side here kind of like a maybe a little bit of a, like a retaining wall uh continues over this way a little bit and then we have these little uh, fence decorations with some lanterns, and then you walk down the staircase, and then you come to the dock, and there's a bunch of boats here to show that it's being used, and then maybe this is like a little fishing dock, you come over here and you can fish, and then over here, this is a, an actual boat house, or it's going to be, so there's gonna be, um, there's gonna be walls and everything, and then there, you can park boats inside here, uh, I assume maybe maybe if they need to be worked on or if they belong to the person who owns the boathouse or something like that. Uh, and then there's the 
support pillars that go underwater there. I might connect them underwater just to add a little decoration and make it seem like they're a little more supported. Also, I didn't know the squids could move boats. So, I have to do something about that. Uh, but for right now, I need to go back up into this chest up here. Let me get rid of that. Grab some more logs, because I did run out. And over here. I'll show you how I plan on doing this. Whoops. I'll just, uh, continue it over this way. And then have a pillar here. Just like that. And then we'll put a roof on it, on the place. And then I think, I don't know if there should be a wall here. I guess, I guess, yeah, there should be one. Um, okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and make a... I'm looking at reference images, just, uh, just so you know. But I'm gonna go ahead and make this little thing here, extend this, and then have another pillar here. But I'm not gonna do windows on this side. I think I'm just gonna do a regular wall like this. Need some more planks. Okay, whoops. Okay, there we go. And then a roof will go over top of this. Except maybe, maybe you have it like this. Yeah, like that. And then I see a lot of pictures where the boathouses have this pillar in the middle. This is a lot of wood to use, but I, I have enough, so it's okay. Okay, and then leave that part open. Let me take a boat out here and let's look at this. Let's get in our little boat here. Go out into the water. We'll go way over here and make it seem like we're coming from the the uh, the river that I plan on. As you can see, like right here, uh, this acts like it's going to go more that way. I think there actually is a river just right over there. But anyway, we'll come around here. Oh yeah, you can see the dock. That's nice. And then with the roof on that, that'll look even better. Light up the area a little bit. That's not bad. It's a little flat, though. I might need to do a little bit with this. Uh, can we fit a boat in here? No. Okay, that's not good. Um, maybe... It might just be for decoration. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that out. So I think we're just about done building the dock for this episode. So I'll show you what we have so far. I finished the roof, but I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Uh, I think the shape is okay, and I'm not I'm not too upset with it, kind of being part of the terrain here. Uh, I think the cramped building style like this can be actually kind of nice, having stuff a little cramped together. My thing is, I'm not sure if I like building it out of this uh, oak wood. And the it's a little flat. So yeah, I might change that roof. But this is what we have so far for the dock. Uh, I'm not... I'm actually pretty happy with it. I'm not I'm not too disappointed with it. I, I, I like what we did here. I think it'll be cool to add some. Maybe change a little bit over time. But for right now, I think this is, this is really nice. It's a really... We have a cozy little boathouse. It actually looks really nice on the inside too. I also stripped some of these because the well, basically the idea between having this mixed with oak and spruce and some of these being stripped is we're right on the water and oh yeah, wandering trader. Nice. What do you have? Some packed ice, some dyes. Eh, we don't really need any of it. But basically, when uh, when wood gets wet, especially like wooden planks, it gets darker. The water kind of changes the color of it uh so i added the spruce since they're darker uh to me it kind of just looks like they're they're just wet so our normal dock here is this regular oak it's a little dry and then these uh spruce slabs are a little more wet since we're right on the water and then the same with the stripped oak maybe the water washed away some of the some of the bark or whatever that was on the support beams um, so yeah, I think it looks really nice, actually. And then the lanterns, uh, I'll, I'll try to show you what it looks like at night. Uh, I've been sleeping through the nights just so I can get this building, but 
I'll, I'll throw in a little picture of what it looks like at night here. Yeah, I think this is going to be it for today's episode. We did quite a bit of stuff. We went and saw the village. We came back. We uh, moved our farm stuff. We built this pretty dock. I'll do a little bit more in between episodes just so we can keep progressing. We might visit the nether or something next episode. So until then, uh, take care.